Welcome to the Mind of the World's Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi everyone, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. Today is a short video on taxonomy, biology and characteristics of ants. I hope you enjoy. This is the common black ant. They are commonly found nesting in soil under the ground. I found this worker ant tending to aphids. They form a symbiotic relationship with aphids by milking them for honeydew and in turn protecting them. Here is the taxonomy broken down. The species is Lassius niger. The genus is Lassius. The subfamily is Formicade. The class is Insecta. And the order is Hymenoptera. The phylum is Arthropoda. And the kingdom is Animalia. This is the common yellow meadow ant. The species is Lassius flavus. The genus is Lassius. The subfamily is Formicade. The order is Hymenoptera. The class is Insecta. The kingdom is Animalia. And the phylum is Arthropoda. The taxonomy for ants are mostly the same, but there are cases where this is different. For example, the European fire ant, the species is Myrmicurubra. The subfamily is different. They are in Myrmican rather than Formican. And the acorn ant species, Temnothorax niandale, are also in the Myrmican. There are over 12,500 identified species that have been classified. Ants have very complex biology, and all ants are true social insects. They will live in colonies, where one or several reproductive individuals will live. The life cycle of ants will start with eggs, then larvae, and then pupae. After the pupae mature, they will turn into one of three, workers, males, and queens. Some species of ants even have different castes, ranging from minor, media, major, and super major, as well as soldiers. As mentioned earlier, ants will form a symbiotic relationship with other living organisms. This can benefit colonies greatly in times of low food supplies. The most commonly known ants you might have heard of can vary from fire ants, carpenter ants, crazy ants, acrobat ants, pharaoh ants, leafcutter ants, and pavement ants, as well as many more like bullet ants and harvester ants. They are so diverse in their different ways of sustaining the colony and how some colonies will reach millions, and some only reach 500. An ant's body will consist of three different parts, the head, the thorax, and the gaster, or known as the abdomen. Workers are the most abundant and responsible for the workload of the colony. They have many tasks, including scouting, digging, tending to brood, as well as many others. Ants have nodes, which are unique to just ants. This means that they can easily be distinguished from small wasps and termites. Because ants are cold-blooded invertebrates, this means they will have to create their own sources of heat. Most ant nests are cleverly designed with tunnels for ventilation and chambers deep down which maintain a constant temperature. This ensures that the ants will survive in winter. This is when ants in temperate regions will go into hibernation. Ants will eat a range of food containing sugar and protein. A lot of species will scavenge for dead insects or even hunt live prey. They will also eat fruits, tree sap, and farm aphids for honeydew. This will provide them with the sugars they need. Ants have two stomachs. One is for holding food for their own consumption, and the second is to hold food to share with other ants. Sugars will provide energy to the workers and queen, and protein will help with brood development for larvae. This video was slightly different to my normal style of videos. I'd love to hear what you thought about this in the comments below. This was just a short video on taxonomy, basic biology and some characteristics of ants. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video 